just beat Vi on 18, too. I mean, I knew we were done. I was just getting selfish. I was just trying to get in the playoff. I hear you. you I wasn't. Give it a run. I guess you gave you hit it about as hard as I did. Mine just hit the hole. <laughs> Correct. I mean, it's a, it's a great victory. Obviously, we've got a great field, um, a lot of great players. So, yeah, I mean, it's up there for sure. Um, the fans were unbelievable out there today. And then, obviously, to get the team victory, too, is just, you know, is, is a big bonus just because, you know, at one point, I think we were on a 12 T. You know, I was playing with Taylor, and it was the leaderboard. I think we were we were four back um, standing on 12 T. You know, we had, you know, whatever, seven holes to, to play. But... Um, you know, all the guys, I know they're all watching the leaderboard, so we all rallied really hard, uh, you know, to get another another win. And I think that, you know, says a lot about the team. You know, we closed out really well at Bedminster, too. And, you know, we all four got to play well if we want to win, especially on Sunday when you're counting three scores. And, you know, so it was good. And obviously for, for myself, I wanted, you know, to finally get my first uh, victory out here, especially I felt like I've had a really good chance to win, you know, every single week. Just hadn't played as well on Sunday as I'd like to, but um, played really nicely today and, you know, finally get the first W. Did the competitive juices flow as much as they ever have? Yeah, absolutely, if not more, especially with that check that you get. Yeah, um, yeah you you can feel it. You're, you're – Butthole puckers up a little bit coming down, <laughs> the, coming down the last few holes for sure. DJ, can you just talk us through the, the, the eagle putt? Um. Yeah, um, I mean, I had, I felt like we had a really good read on it, and you know, might have hit it a little harder than I wanted to, but so you bottom. know, as soon as I hit it, I'm like, whoa! And then it started. It was on a good line. I'm like, hit the hole, hit the hole, hit the hole, and it did, and went in somehow, but. I think the hole's indented for sure, but um, yeah, I mean, I felt like it definitely owed me one, especially after the, you know, in regulation, I felt like I had a really good tee shot, tee shot, took a bad bounce, just rolled in the rough. Just playing smart, just laying it up short left there and caught a massive jumper and went up into trees and made a really good five to get in the playoff. And so um, obviously hit a great drive and a, and a really nice second shot in there to give myself a chance. and. You know, made the putt. It wasn't wasn't exactly how I wanted it to go in, but it went in. And, and uh, Patrick, uh, can you talk about you know the first yeah, two times the, the first two times you uh, you guys won? It was pretty substantial margins. This was obviously a much closer one. Uh, how much was the uh, uh, the juices going there in terms of be, being so competitive? Well, I mean, the juices were definitely flowing. Um, you know, I, I think I had five or six left, and they came up to me and said, "Hey." One, you're counting, and we're down two. So try to do something. And, uh, and I was able to rally off uh, back-to-back birdies on four and five. And then to go ahead and hit it uh, you know, three or four feet on eight to make eagle on the second to last hole is, is always something that you just kind of kind of get you going. I, I think that's what's so impressive about our team is it seems like every week we seem to close. Uh, you know, it's not just how we kind of start. We get off the gate. Gates fast as we got week. off to rough starts the last but couple. On Sundays, it seems like as it that. gets close, or even if it's the wrong direction on us, we, we seem to close it off and, and get going towards the end. And uh, you know, it just shows kind of how how important it is for us to go out and play well. Dustin, uh, from the time you left the tour to now, um, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's been quite the journey for you personally. So, you know, given everything that you've gone through for the last few months, you know, what is what does this win mean, mean for you? Well, it means a lot, and, you know, I think, you know, obviously with the caliber of players that are playing, you know, especially now on Live, you know, we got great fields every week. We're going to continue to have great fields. It's probably going to even get better, probably started next year, but even right now our fields are unbelievable. So, um, you know, for me it's it's something new. It's something exciting, and I'm, I'm really enjoying being out here, and, I, you know, we're playing at great venues, and, you know, they do a wonderful job putting on the tournaments, I think. You know, you talk to any of the fans, the players, whoever, staff, you know, they, they do a great job taking care of everyone and making it a great experience for everyone. So I'm just really happy to be a, pro- a part of it. Question for uh, Taylor Gooch. Um, you may not have won this week, but you made a ton of money. Do you feel great going home knowing you're still the richest man in Oklahoma? <laughs> so I'm not going home, so I'm going over to England. 
So do you feel good knowing you're the richest man in England? Uh, I don't <laughs> think I'm the richest man in England, but I joked with him. Um, you know, we, we've, we've, I think Pat said that he's made more in these four events, double these in these four events than three for me, three for me, these three events than uh, I've doubled my earnings on the tour on the, on the tour. So events compared to these three, but you know, yeah. So I, you got those I, three horses a lot easier. Needless to say, I, th- I think when DJ came up to me in England and, and uh, for the first one at Centurion and said, Hey, let's not lose to these South Africans anymore. Let's go, let's go and get some trophies. I was like, I'm in. Let's do it. Nice. And what are you going to buy in England with that money? Uh, maybe some tea, maybe some biscuits, uh, a lot of biscuits. Biscuits uh, with gold in it? You mean, you're talking about scones. Scones uh, that, were, that have, like, the gold around it. You know? Golden scones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Please so, bring me one home. I, I appreciate that. Absolutely. I got, Thank you. They don't have those in Oklahoma. I got you. Thank you. Uh, gentlemen, this is for any and all of you. What did you think about, you know, competing in the Boston area, the, the course itself? the fans and would you welcome a return in future seasons to the boston area um yeah i mean the fans boston's a huge sports town and the fans were great i mean you could see especially at the you know at the trophy ceremony you know unbelievable you know all day today you know huge crowds there a lot of energy and yeah i mean this great golf course is a fantastic shape and you know Obviously, it showed. I mean, it was, uh, you know, look at the leaderboard, look at the guys who were at the top. And, yeah, I mean, it was a great week, great venue. And, like I said, the fans were unbelievable. Uh, Patrick, uh, this question's for you. Uh, electric finish uh, with an eagle there brought your team to victory. Uh, have you ever thought of changing your name from Captain America to Captain Cashing Checks? No, I, I like Captain America. We're going to stick with that one. But I'll still cap- uh, cash checks. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dust. Dustin, back in uh, August of 2020, you won the Northern Trust down at TPC Boston. So you're having good uh, success yeah. in Massachusetts. And Billy Andre called that course a bomber's course. So would you call international a bomber's course, so to speak? I mean, um, for neither one of them, I think, no. are bomber's courses. They're both golf courses where if you drive it straight, you can, you know, you get a lot of opportunities. And that's what I did this week. I really drove it well. And, you know, don't think I ever hit, you know, really hit any tee balls in trouble. You know, I felt like I, you know, I really drove it well. And, you know, that's the key around here. There's trouble. You know, it's fairly wide, but if you miss it, you know, in the trees, it's it's not fun. And, you know, I did a good job of, you know, hitting a lot of fairways. And on 18, um, did you know how you stood there um, when you were over by the tree, adjacent to the green? Yeah. Did you know you had to get five to make a uh, Yeah, I mean, I figured, you know, five was going to get me in a playoff. Obviously, standing on the tee, I know if I make four, probably going to win. Um, hit a great drive, I thought, right down the right center of the fairway. Got a bad hop, went to rough. Felt like I was playing it smart, just trying to hit it up there short left, you know, in that fairway where I had a really good chance to get up and down and just caught a massive jumper and went to a spot where I definitely was not trying just to Just one it. more. How, how long was that putt? Did you measure that out on, on 18? Which one? On Last 18. Hole. To get into, on the win to win the tournament to win, uh, I have no idea. Thirty-three and a half feet. There you go. All right, one more. Uh, Pat Perez. Yes. Pat Perez. Uh, can in. you can you call this a dynasty now? With three. They straight? are. I'm just holding on by a thread. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, this one's for it any of you guys. It's all loose, so you gotta have the you know. You gotta have the fluff. I'm luckier than hell to be here. I'm you, first to tell you, <laughs> fluff. Uh, there's a lot of talk on social media about how there's, uh, people are saying these are more of like exhibition matches. What would you say to the people out there that think this isn't a real tour? Exhibition matches don't play, pay $4.75 million. Thank you. It's about, yeah. Mic drop. Uh, thank you. Mic drop.